morning everyone um, it's 6 30 a.m. Um, on Tuesday morning um, today would normally be a day where I um, get ready for work however I'm still off with my bad back so um, I'm actually going to have coffee with a girlfriend this morning so I'm looking forward to that um, Miss Pippin is here and she's sitting on top of my Heidi Swap um, binder uh, she's keeping it warm, I guess, <laughs> or just <laughs> being a nuisance. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> um, so today I'm going to show you um, this binder. This is, um, it's not so much a wall binder, rather it's a, um, like a scrapbook. Um, it's, it, it, it is actually a planner. It was um, the planner that I had when I was a Nutramedics consultant. Um, those of you who are in Australia will know that Nutramedics is a um, beauty and skin care company. Um, those of you who don't know what Nutramedics is, it's, a, it's like Mary Kay or Avon. And um, it's an Australian company and yeah, I'm, and anyway, I'm no longer a consultant so that I'm not rambling on. I've actually filmed this once before and made it way too long so of course I couldn't post it. So this is my second attempt so let's see how I go at um, keeping it short. Um, yeah, so I, I really love this binder and so even though I'm no longer a Nutramedics consultant, I wanted to keep the binder and I wanted to be able to use it so I'm repurposing it. And the purpose that I'm using it for is for doing scrapbook pages. Um, so as you can see here, uh, underneath here is was Nutramedics, the word Nutramedics was written. So I've covered that with, um, this is actually uh, book covering, like contact book covering. And um, so I covered that just to hide the, the word. And it's got a good clasp here for keeping it shut. Although I don't know how well that's going to work, the fatter it gets. As you can see, it's it's well on the way. I've had to take some pages out of it, of course, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to close it if I just um, decorated on every page. So um, let's have a look. Miss Pippin will be very interested. So in yes, look, see, she's very interested. <laughs> it's got a pen loop here, and it's got a pocket, and. So what I do is I just, whatever I happen to feel like, and she's been very helpful, look at that. Let's see, that's better to sit on than the Heidi Swap uh, binder. Oh my gosh, she's such a nuisance, aren't you? Yes, you are, baby. Oh, you're a gorgeous girl. <laughs> you're giving mummy kisses. <laughs> so, um, oh, hold on, I'll just scoot her off there. Come on, hop off. Off again. Good. Yeah, there you go. Good girl, baby girl. Um, yeah, so I just, um, whatever I just feel like doing, um, I do, whenever I feel like it. So that's just a plastic cover, uh, protective cover. It'd be great if it was a sleeve, but it's not, it's just a plastic cover. Um, so I just do random pages, just whatever I feel like, if I find a, a pretty image that I like, or so just, you know, something like that. This was using up a bit of scraps. Um, the bird stickers were given to me for Christmas by a friend. These I printed off um, off a program that I have on my computer. And um, yeah, so and I so I just do stuff like that. So um, pages like this, um, yeah, and like on this one, I just sort of like cut around the flowers on the cardstock, and just to you know give a bit of um, definition. And that's just a psalm that I like. And that's a verse that I like. I'll get that out of the road. And that opens up like that. And that opens up like that. This is actually cute, I think, because my daughter gave me these cards, these journaling cards. She gave me those for Christmas. And it says on here, um, name a book you loved reading and why. So, of course, you know, I wrote the Bible <laughs> because it's God-breathed, and that's why. Um, yeah, so that's just that. I mean, I like, um, I like, you know, things that open pockets and, and flippy things, and I like this sort of stuff. I like to layer. 
So I loved doing this page. Um, so what this is, that actually opens up like that. And then you pull that out. See, like that. So that actually started as, that was a prayer that I wrote. And um, so I wrote the prayer out. And then I thought, oh, well, I'll put it in there. And then I needed some way of keeping this shut. And that's how that came about. So I rarely plan my pages. I don't, I'm not good with instruction. Um, that's like part of my rebellious spirit, which I'm working on because it's not good to have a rebellious spirit. Um, but I, yes, I don't, I don't do instructions. So I usually just do my own thing. Whatever happens to come to mind or whatever I find, it's, it's yeah, it's pretty random. Um, this was using up scraps. That's more of that contact. Um, so it's adhesive book covering. I love it. I love it. As soon as I saw this one, I had to have it because it's got cats on it. And um, yeah, I usually just find pictures that I like and print them out and, you know, put those on. Um, this one, this page actually turned out really well. However, it was an accident because I really liked this image. And um, then, like I started doing, like on the computer, I just layered it all on top of each other because I felt that that was a good uh, representation of God's endless love for us. And, of course, this binder is not A4, and I had done this on A4 paper, so, of course, it was too big for the page, and I didn't want to cut it down, so I ended up cutting around it like this and made it look like it was supposed to be like that, like it was planned to be like that when, in actual fact, it was an accident. But it turned out really well, so I was happy with that. And just some more um, passages that I like. I'm just using up, I have a really good friend at work who's a scrapbooker, she's a hardcore scrapbooker and she's had a recent sort out of all of her stuff and um, anything that she no longer wants, she's actually giving to me, so that's such a blessing, such a blessing, So and it's like Christmas every time she brings a box of goodies for me. Um, this page is lots of secret stuff, you know, so you've got a flippy page here, and some embellishments and then you've got a, another flippy page there and I did the back like that's just cardstock on the back just to match with the actual page backing and lots of bling and embellishments on it and I really love how that one turned out I was very happy with that one and this is just a just a page that I played with and again, two more beautiful pages. This is some of the um, the goodies that my friend from work gave me. Um, all of these here, all these flowers and that, she gave me those. So I've had fun using them. And the doilies, I think they're wonderful. They just make a page look so um, classy, I think. Yeah. Again, a couple more. Just whatever I happen to feel like at the time, when I have time to do a scrapbooking page. I usually just, like I said, I don't plan anything. Just um, this, I mean, everybody would know the song Amazing Grace. This has special meaning for me. Um, when my brother passed away two years ago, um, I helped care for him during the 10 months that he was battling cancer. And um, on the day that he died, in the morning, that morning, I knew he was going to die that day. I believe that God... God told me, put it on my heart, that he was going to go. And I was able to let his wife know that she needed to be at the hospital that day. And um, But in that, that morning while he was in a coma, I was sitting beside his bedside and I actually sang Amazing Grace to him. And um, I believe he heard me. He was the singer, not me. <laughs> but um, I believe he heard me. And um, it was heartbreaking, of course, to watch my brother die. But it was an honour to be there when he took his last breath and I know that he's safe in the arms of Jesus now so that gives me a lot of peace so that's very special for me um, just another pretty page there again a couple more just playing around with different colours and lettering and these letters here were a blessing from my friend at work and I've got a couple of more I love these types of pictures I love pictures of Jesus hugging and that, of course, is our king, and 
I'm his bride, which just warms my heart endlessly, as you can imagine. And there we go. So that's what the planner originally looked like. Those are the pages there, you know, so it's laid out for, for being a consultant and keeping track of your clients and, and demonstrations and that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, so there's plenty more pages left to, to play with. And of course, as I said, I've had to tear a few out because otherwise it's going to be enormously fat. But um, yeah, I like this binder and I actually have a second one that's smaller, but it's a Nutrimedics binder as well. So I'll use it as well. But um, yeah, so that's just something else that, that I like to do. So as I said, it's not so much a wall binder, although I suppose in, in some respects it is because, you know, you're spending time with God as you do it. But um, I'll just move that plastic page because it gets rid of the glare then and um, so I suppose in respect it is a wall binder because you know you are um, you are in the presence of God while you're doing this and your thoughts are on God so it's just a different way of doing things especially when you don't have a lot of time so um, and it's very I find it very relaxing very therapeutic so um, and you know being stuck at home now with my back injury means that I get more time to do this sort of stuff but I am back at work on Thursday, so um, ladies, I'll get you to pray for me too, if you wouldn't mind, um, that you know my back is strengthened and that I can continue to work because it is in the back of my mind that um, I may actually have to give up my job because my job does involve heavy lifting. And um, I'm just, yeah, so, but I'm trusting God. I know that God is my provider and he loves me, so I'm, I'm trusting him and I know that he's got my back and He's got everything all worked out, even though I can't see, I can't see past, you know, Thursday really. So, but um, yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it here and, and God bless you all and have a beautiful day and, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye.